hey, you clicked on this video for a reason. You know, you're either looking to break into tech, maybe you just got laid off, and you just don't know where to start, or you're not getting the interviews that you like, and it's just, things are just scattered right now. It's okay, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to give you four websites that you can use right now, as soon as this video is done, to start doing that research, get more interviews, look up how to properly do the research on these companies, uh, how to see if the culture fits you, and just make things at least a little bit less stressful for you guys, especially during these times. But before we get started, I'm gonna need you to grab a paper, pen, pencil, whatever you need to take notes, because as soon as we're done today, you're gonna be able to take those steps right away. Alrighty guys, let's get straight to it. You know, the first website I'm going to show you is LinkedIn. Simple as that, go to linkedin.com, go to job tabs, and it looks like this, all right? Now, what I'm, the techniques I'm showing you can apply for any company or any industry, so to speak, but the techniques I'm showing you, I'm looking out for my tech folks, right? So we're gonna go in the search bar, put business development, just put that first, business development representative. The first thing you're going to see is United States. You can leave it at that, United States, so it could pull up all the, so you don't wanna miss options, maybe just pull it all up because this pulls up based on how these jobs post. Like for exa example, this one just says United States remote. This one might say New York. Um, hybrid you might also see sometimes some jobs they may a good one right here they may post boston massachusetts right as the area but they're looking for remote or maybe you have to be in boston but that's for you to do research which i'll show you as well but let's go back to the tab part the only filters i would change on this is the um the income that you're looking for where you want to start at range and then you could go to filters right you know, whatever it is, you could, boom, I wanna see only 60 plus, right? So you, you change that filter and it'll pull that up. The good thing though, you can make up different sets. You could have the first set is United States. You could, that will save on your job page on LinkedIn. And then you could create another set for remote jobs, right? You just put remote, maybe you, you'll you see something else that pops up remote, right? It still goes back to United States as well sometimes, but you can put United States remote. It just depends on how they report, right? Or you can put what, wherever you're at. Me right now, I'm in Orlando, Florida currently. I can put Orlando, Florida, if, you know, it'll also pop up remote if it is you know, in Orlando, or it'll just pull up remote so to speak as a whole. But let's just go back to United States just for this example, just so you guys can see what that looks like. United States, you can change the mileage. If you put, if you, as you can see the miles, if you put the, where you're located, you can change it. I don't need to explain this. You guys are smart. Now that we're here, let's say we're looking at a role, right? A business development rep, United States, only 60 plus we're looking at. Let's say that we look up, um, let me just pull one. It'll pull up both, sales development and BDRs too, but you might want to play around and see what pops up. Let's say this one. This one is New Jersey. We're just using this as an example. Okay, a pretense. Hey, my my um, my accent came out a little bit. You saw that? So now you go here. Um, okay, let me see what they're about. You click on it. Okay, what do they do exactly? As you can see, you can read up about them here. You can also go on their website to get a little bit more information if you wanna see the platform, you know, what it is that they're selling, the products. What I recommend as well, you know, just because you're looking at it as a job perspective, but you also wanna see is the product is good. You could look them up and look at the product, look at the reviews for that on like websites such as G2 as well, where you can look up products for um, tech companies that they're selling to see if it's actually pretty it's good quality you know look on the website and now let's say you know you're you're going through let's just fast forward a little bit and you're you, you talk to the recruiter and they're going to move you forward for the next step right and they and the recruiter's talking about yeah we remote from within and all that good stuff this is where you can look it up look at the people who are in the, the roles right this is a sales development rep let's just say what whatever they put i'll keep it simple like if it's sales development or a business, just put sales or business, right? And it'll pop up, okay, 56 people. You could go to it, see who's in those current roles. I just wanna, from my opinion, the people that are already working there in your current role you're applying for, just ask them. Be like, hey, you know, how do you feel about this? Is it 
you know go to the post and you'll see okay i see what they're posting just to get a feel about this gives you just more of a feel than just seeing just a description of the job so that's another way to look it up right simple as that guys just on jobs as you can see the the most recent research we did it popped up let's say we want to go back to it you can set up an alert right so that way whenever a new job pops up you can probably be you know some of the first few people to apply for that position you know and that's a higher chance for you to Get, you know sit down with the recruiter and move through the process at least the first phase of it uh, let me just turn this off for myself simple as that that's linkedin that's the first way for you to do that research you know like i said look at the job boom and then you click on you know what they're about they'll take it to their page and from there you can look up and see if it makes sense or you can go a little bit further which i always recommend i highly recommend this one and just pull this up right go to glass door Let's go to Glassdoor, right? Paste that job right in here. The company, okay. Let me see what they're about. See, this is relatively new. They don't, they didn't have much, but let's just go to a good one. Uh, just a company off the top of my head. Right, that's one, right? You go to the reviews tab, and then you see, okay, 4.5. Let me see what they're about. You could go to most recent and then look it up. See what people are saying recently. You can see, you know, just general salaries that, you know, of different roles, like the averages and things of that nature. You can pull that up and see those different things. So that way, you know where to start when it comes to maybe that last phase is negotiation. You know, you can know where to start for yourself. That's just another I, I highly recommend whenever you, before you apply somewhere, pull up the glass store, do yourself a favor because sometimes the writing is on the wall for some of these companies on the glass door, I'm be honest with you, right? So now let's go to the second website, which is called AngelList. But right now I'm gonna include the link in the website because now they're go by well found. So they might change the link to well found at some point. You know, you can create a profile, go to jobs, right? Pull up whatever you're looking for, business development rep, account manager. Let's just keep it simple for now. Um, I'm just going to do business development, account executive, sales development. Now you're going to see companies pop up, right? Well, most of the good part about this website, AngelList, are well found is that a lot of them are remote, right? They'll have the remote ones on here and they'll tell you, um, let's say, for example, let's find a role, right? Let's search real quick. Let me look up for the boom right here. Uh, this one, right, sale development rep, it'll explain about the company, uh, right here, you know, they're remote or New York, okay, so you can see, okay, they tell you some of the base for the role, and then you, you can see a little bit more information, they're actively hiring, 4.7, growing, like I said, same way, you can pull this up, pull up that company, go to Glassdoor, if they have anything because a lot of these are you know uh, startup small to medium sized businesses usually and then you see they just raised 47.6 million um a little bit about the founder the different rounds that they went through um they have the culture they say you know you could go to view all the perks it might take you to the website or it may stay on here this is just general once again you can pull them up on linkedin as well to see the people working there see what they post you know that's a, another good step to do so now once you create a profile it takes you right through there boom you're good to go to apply and then that's how that's another one angel list or well found it's it's a great one it's a great one for a lot of remote roles you can find on here so i highly recommend this will be the second place i i, I would go to and i did an angel list I, I did get a lot of interviews from there and of course this third one i'm going to show you it's called built in you know you can play around this. this is actually pretty cool it gives you a lot of information about the company but you can go straight to it if you're looking for remote only Boom, we go right to it, right? And you can type in the keyword, SDR, you know, remote United States, it pops up. Okay, let's look up a, a company and vision. Okay, let's just click on this, just an example, just so you can see what it looks like. You know, same thing, you're gonna create a profile, login. I do have a login, but just for example purposes, right? Okay, you can read up about them, see what they're about, about the team you know the roles that they're currently hiring for um 
and that's that right there some of them are more elaborate with like their descriptions of it like they might talk about of course you go on their website as well let's just go on this one order i want you guys to see a, a good one a good example oh yeah that's another thing some of these companies too they only hire within certain states because right now you know they just start some of them could be just starting up so they may only hire from within a certain few locations so and you can always ask if it's not on there when you if you you know you get an interview with the recruiter you can always ask them as well if you don't see where you're at because it doesn't mean everything's completely accurate on here okay boom this is a good one you know they talk about diversity and inclusion and you know data the co-founder speaks talking about different things the vice president they talk about the things that they offer um you know of the perks diversity they talk about that mental health benefits vision benefits and you know some of them may include you know performance bonuses some may even say okay you know we, we have uh when we hire you we have a uh, maybe a 500 dollar reimbursement or some might say hey we give you 500 dollars to get a new you know new desk setup but we'll provide you with a computer every company is different you know but it'll say it in here and a description if you go to apply now it might take you straight to the website or boom the thing about applying for these it's pretty simple it's not a long list of you know including a whole bunch of different things sometimes what i would do just depending on what they ask drop in your resume or but once you create a profile some sometimes it transfers over it just depends on if it takes you directly to the website and boom there you go you know it's usually a one pager for these tech jobs so you so it's very easy to apply for jobs back to back to back to back so you're gonna after you do your research but you want to apply don't get don't get caught up on a job don't get caught up on a company just apply don't say hey they they call me for an interview now i'm not gonna apply anywhere else continue applying continue doing your research continue because i want you to be able to accumulate because like we know it's a numbers game some will call you some won't but if they do you can continue have offers on the table okay that was built in simple as that create a profile and it makes things a lot easier for you right so now the third one everybody knows indeed um just you know indeed business development rep let's just say 55 and above what you're looking at straight to it i would leave it as is but if you want you can do date or you know most recent simple as that look up you know different jobs the reason why i have different job have you guys look at different um job boards because for example this one might be a uh, uh, it's a low rating but you know you could do your research this one they may only post on linkedin maybe they're just starting up and they don't know i mean they're only posting on indeed and they don't know about linkedin yet or they're just literally just starting so they may not be on the other job boards like i said you want to be this is a way for you to be some of the you know first few people to buy sometimes you know so that's another avenue with indeed simple as that we know how to use it you guys are smart like i said i don't need to go into death but now i'm gonna give you the bonus ones the these you're gonna do some research but these are dope right so Glassdoor, i'm gonna attach the link uh glass door blessed places to work for whatever year right now we're in 2022 the end of it and if you're 2023 it may be up there either you can go back and look as well top places to work now this is great because it has some of the, the top tech companies remember i already pulled up grin it's a great company grin is a great company if they're hiring for sdr bdr i, I would apply for it um if i were you um you know look at these different companies okay branch insurance what that what are they about you know neuro flash already has a linkedin it'll take you straight there see the reviews if you want most recent because take keep in mind go i'm gonna be honest with you you take some of these with a grain of salt too right i'm gonna be up front but it's a great place to start and now you know how to look now you could be more picky with what you want because at the end of the day you want to work for a great company you know your mental health is important our minds you know get, you know you we don't want to work for a company where you know you're being micromanaged and all these different things so look look it up this is a great way to start so you know what you're getting into because what what, what happens to some people that i've coached up already with, to help them get jobs some of them they they, they receive jobs immediately right but they didn't do any research I'm like man that's not what i expected and i was like did you check the glass door they're like or did you research they're like no nah, i was just trying to get my foot in there i get it you know everybody's situation is different but do the research because 
for some of these companies, the writing is already on the wall. So this is a great start, you know. Like I said, do the same thing for every company, no matter where you're at, try to see if they're on LinkedIn. Like you might see this one. Okay, let me see if they're on LinkedIn. Go to copy, same way I showed you guys how to do the search. Boom, pop them up, see if they're on LinkedIn, right? Simple as that. And then there's this one as well. You could change it to large, the top large companies if you want, but I would recommend small to medium. You know, everybody, all they, outside of tech they just know the the fame companies facebook amazon and netflix google but there's more smaller set small to medium sized companies that are still doing their thing and they're still hiring right that's what that's why we're here i want to get you jobs jobs and get you guys interviews okay now the last bonus one top 100 by will reed right so this is pretty much the top 100 early stage companies to work for, right? You could click in here, enter the site, and then you go to meet the top 100. This is pretty cool. This is a lot of startups. They'll tell you what series of funding they're in, right? But you're gonna have to do your research because the good thing about these though, the reason why I have this is because with some of these companies, they may offer you equity, right? Well, if you're one of the first, you're one of the first two SDR, BDRs and that company blows up, right and you get equity think about that so this is where you're gonna have to do research and see what that company's about see if it's something that you want to be part of or even apply to like example of air garage this is a great company you know do your research they're on linkedin i know that for a fact you could google them and look at their indeed if they have it you gotta remember sometimes these companies may not may not have um indeed or um, LinkedIn yet, or any reviews, because it's a startup. So you're gonna have to ask those proper questions, you know, of, okay, what are you guys about? What's the style about? You're gonna have to do some research and look up the, some of what they have, you know, the co-founders, look them up. You know, you found this person on there, go on LinkedIn, Google them, see what their history is about. See if, you know, that's somebody you, you can connect with or somebody that you would work for. And you can see a little bit about them and do the research and see if they're hiring. They might click and it might take you directly to their website, LinkedIn, Twitter, it'll take you. This is how you can do the research, but these companies are great if you're trying to get into a company while they're just starting up. And uh, you know, a, a good amount of these would offer equity as well as part of that. So that's pretty great. You know, if you guys don't know equity, you know, stock options getting in early, which could be amazing. It, that alone can help you make more than probably your role sometimes just depending on the company i don't want you guys thinking that way only but it's just an example of where you can look for that and top 100 by will read is a good way guys i gave i'm giving you guys a blueprint let's make this happen reach out to me i want to help you guys get jobs this is going to all be here so you can click it and it's going to be easy access also i want you guys to comment if you have other jobs, other resources that you've been using, other job boards, or something that you saw that's been working for you that I didn't mention. All righty, guys, let's get to it. Let's help, let's all work together, be positive. Let's make it happen.